Hello you guys and welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna take you along with us throughout our day. Chris and I are wanting to make some Easter eggs so we thought we would take you along with us while we make them. Every year a friend of ours makes these beautiful Easter eggs. I'll put a picture right here so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about and she uses natural dyes and flowers and leaves to make them and we actually tempted them last year but I think we didn't have all of the right supplies so they were a bit of a fail so we're gonna try again this year this weekend is Easter and the weather is beautiful so we're definitely feeling very springy so yeah Chris and I are gonna head into the city walk around a little bit and then get some supplies to make these eggs is full of questions and the sky is full of rain when i'm worrying about what i can't change i take a look at my reflection and try to make a funny face and for a second all my sorrows melt away as if we just smile we can forget all of our troubles for a while we can just live inside this moment You and I get through the darkness Knowing we'll find the light If we just smile If we just, if we just If we just smile Yeah, if we just smile Maybe we focus on the future No use in living in the past Try to remember that the bad times never last And if we take one step, one step at a time We're gonna make it, gonna make it all right If we stick together, we'll be fine Cause if we just smile We can forget all of our troubles for a while We can just live inside this moment You and I get through the darkness knowing if we just smile, if we just, if we just, if we just smile in the sky. Is we made it home from the city. Oh, it's really bright. And now we're going to our little backyard that's in our apartment to pick some, I don't know what, flowers, flowers and leaves, and and leaves things. things to make the pretty design. So we'll see what we can find. Inside this moment, you and I. Darkness knowing we'll find the light If we just smile If we just, if we just If we just smile Okay, yeah, so we, we went and we picked some flowers and some like greenery, some like ferns, some leaves So this will be what will make the pretty design on the eggs and then while we were in the city we picked up some nylons or pantyhose any kind i think will do and then to actually dye the eggs um it's really cool here in switzerland at the pharmacy they have these like natural dyeing sets if you can't get your hands on stuff like this you can also look online and there's a lot of natural ways that you can dye eggs you can use turmeric you can use coffee tea i know onions and beets and stuff like that and then of course you need eggs yes you, you ready need eggs. <laughs> you need eggs white eggs yeah obviously don't get don't get the brown <laughs> eggs because then it doesn't really work <laughs> we had a moment today where we were like uh did we buy brown eggs instead <laughs> of white eggs but no they're white so this we have these stamps on it uh it says when they got packed and stuff how to get that off i'll show you Ooh. Perfect. I think vinegar it is. Also, it's important to get your eggs out of the fridge um, maybe a little bit before you cook them because um, then the possibility of them breaking in the water is a lot less.
So you take down the pantyhose here. So I'm gonna go with just like a little square. So then you take, so we have all these little flowers and stuff. Um, it would be good to wet it and maybe even use a little bit of soap because uh, the paint or the stain is gonna stick better to the egg. So I just wash this egg. So I'm just gonna put like, the leaf on here. And then use the pantyhose to kind of like, so the pantyhose, as a kid I always thought, oh, that's that the collar doesn't get in too much or whatever, but literally it's just that it holds the, your design onto it. That's the only reason why you, so you don't have to tie it super hard. It's just important that it holds your little design. I have my leave in here. It's not perfectly, but that's totally fine. And then I just did it, kind of like tied up. If it's open here, it doesn't matter. And then we're just gonna use a little string, put it around it, and then your little egg is ready to go into the bath. Okay, I'm gonna attempt my first one. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this one with a flower. So I have my flower on here. It's harder than it looks <laughs> to keep it actually on the egg. But, so I have my little flower on there. I'm gonna try this. This is pretty hard because it's sticking out so it's not really on the egg so I think right now it looks cool but the end product is probably not gonna be the best but hey we're gonna try we're gonna put the first ones in my friend which we talked about in the beginning she also said you can do like switch them up like do five minutes in yellow and then put it here so you get really the different color so we're probably gonna try that too So now we're gonna boil the egg, and you find you can find these uh, charts online with uh, how runny you still want the yolk. But I mean, they're gonna be like boiled eggs that we want to eat, just like that. So we probably go for like the 10, 11 minutes. Okay, so it's a little while later and we've just been chilling for the rest of the day oh. and now before we end up the vlog Chris wanted to do something with the eggs that I guess is tradition, tradition yes. which I've never heard of but okay let's do it what is so, it so so it's called egg tapping so it's a thing that you do with your whole family or with your friends uh, when you have your Easter dinner or your Easter brunch or whatever. So what it is, it's technically a competition. So you each of your family or your friends choose an egg and then you smash them against each other and whichever breaks is the loser. So and there's no like rules on like how you hit the egg? Yeah, you hit it like this. Oh, okay. On each other. But then right, so okay. normally go head to head and then butt to butt. And then there's kind of like then the whole thing where you go around, maybe one guy hit it, uh, hit a couple eggs and then his 
didn't break so everyone is like oh that's the that's the best egg what is special about it so it's all this whole okay. thing it's a huge <laughs> thing then on your table but it's really fun so and if you guys have any easter traditions you're doing then let us know in the comments below okay pick okay. your egg pick your egg which one is gonna win because i don't want to pick one. the really pretty ones because we're gonna eat them either way yeah that's true mm. Ooh. I think the flower is gonna win. Okay. I think this one because it's kind of like the ugly one. But the, <laughs> the ugly, ugly one duckling. is gonna be the strong. Okay, so head against head, so you like can this. hit first. Oh, yes. like from the top? Yes. I'm nervous for some reason. Ah! Okay, turn yours. Okay. Now it's turning. Now, now you it's spot hit mine. against spot. You just need to hold. don't push it up. Oh, okay. people always try to cheat. I know where they okay, put their I'm finger not... between. No, no, I'm my not brothers going always to. try to do that. Ooh, oh, mine broke. Okay, now so it's a tie. Now? So now you need to. Now it's butt against head. So you need to hit it. Oh, okay. See who wins. I feel like this isn't fair. Why should I hit yours? Yeah. Okay, okay. But also, you already hit mine here, so. Wait, okay. Winning egg. Yeah, there you go. Mine cracked and then on the bottom it cracked. Mine just cracked at the bottom, but the top still good to go. Still good okay, to go. Okay, so you're the winner. So now you go on to another sibling Person. or friend and then do that and see if you're still gonna win because this is a strong head. You keep winner using egg. the saying an yes. egg yeah. until it's cracked? Okay. Yeah. And then we always had the problem who's gonna eat all the eggs. So <laughs> somebody that needs to still eat the eggs. <laughs> True. Oh, also, I want to show you the best trick how to get an egg out of the shell. So you make a hole in the top and you make a hole in the bottom and then you just blow through it. Wait. And so you blow air under the shell and it just comes off so easily. Look at all these huge pieces. Great job, isn't it? It's already out. Okay, so that's it for today's vlog. Thanks for coming along with us today and maybe learning new things, new traditions to do this Easter. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.